Hi guys, in this video we're going to take media, we're going to take the lamination, we have a call for rewinding, we're going to load the machine ready for production. We'll take the printed media and we'll insert that onto the media mandrel. Push it all the way into the back disc which is 20 millimeters away from this area here. Now I do have a rule here with a mark on there just so that I can show you. We're 20 millimeters away from the edge. And then when we pull this through, we can set this media to the 20 millimeter mark. Okay, happy with that? That is now in place. We'll then take the roll of lamination. Now we've got the roll of lamination coming off the top here, which is the correct orientation. And we feed that onto the roller as well. If this is a little bit loose on here, then you can just tweak these fins a little bit further out to expand them out to get a better grip on this roll. I'm going to move this in and leave a small gap between the disc there because the narrow this this is about five millimeters narrower than this roll. That enables us to track it without it falling over the edge. Feed this down past the lamination nip roller underneath here and I'll just pull that through until I get that tight and then drop the roller. This tab here just enables us to feed it through. Feeding lamination without this on is very very difficult. And I'm just going to use a pair of small scissors just to remove this. You can save this again for when you've finished. part is to feed the media through the machine. So using the P feed button on the control panel, this will feed the media through. Now, if your lamination isn't quite level to start with, you've not got it quite straight, then what you can do is you can leave, lift this and then feed this through a little bit and then when you feel it is straight, you can lower this down. Now, putting the brake on here, the correct amount of brake on here, a little bit of experience on here, but you need a little bit just to stop this from over rotating. The media here needs a little bit more brake than the lamination does. So put a little bit more brake on the media. If you put too much brake on here, then what will happen is the machine will not have enough strength here to pull the media through. So it will just skid. So that's when you've got too much brake. So take a little bit of the brake off. Just make sure that there is a bit of resistance there. So once we've fed enough media through, we go to here. We took that under the dancer bar. Ensure that the, that the cam rollers on the cutter head is open at this point. The machine is actually powered on. So we lift that up. Now we will need a little bit more media so we can just feed that through until we have enough to feed through under the pinch rollers of the machine. Okay. Now we're going to just lift the cam rollers when we get this positioned again we're going to use the, uh, the the ruler here just to measure this position to the actual edge of the back plate there that we get that 20 mil position there and when we're happy with that position we'll then lower the cam rollers now at this point we can let go of the media the dancer bar this side is now supported because we're actually gripping the media by the pinch rollers in the cutter station to control media through the cutter station now we use the uh, the right arrow here and we press that and hold it and then that will start to run. Now the machine will automatically feed new media into, uh, into the cutter station when the dancer bar gets to the top of its travels on the input side. On the output side we need to keep an eye on this side that we don't push too much media through. We need to feed a little bit more and then we will lift. lift that up and then feed that under the brake bar. Now once we're under the brake bar, the brake bar in the down position will then hold that media and then we can make further alignments to that area. Be careful of this area here, you can see that we've got the blade out of the way here so there's no chance of me cutting myself. And then we feed that so if I use this now as a guide, we know that that is 20 millimeters away from the edge through the machine and through onto here. Now, it's a case now of 
stripping the media. This is the waste. And I shall just feed that back up and around the media feed roller. Feeding a little bit more media through here. And I will just manually pull this through. Onto there. Use the correct size core. Onto there. And then we should use some adhesive to stick the glassine onto the core. Go. Using a little bit of a label adhesive there, we'll stick that onto there in the correct position. And this onto here. Now, it's a good idea just to feed a little bit more media through here. Now, making sure this is in the on position, then we can use, use the rewind jog just to get that started. Now an overview before we start um, the cut process, just to check to see if everything is okay. Now we make sure that the lamination here is in the correct position on the, uh, the media. The media is tracking straight so we can check the position of the, uh, of the media through the machine here. That is good. The dancer bar is at the top position here. Now, Cutter station, the cam rollers here are actually on the edge of the media, so they're not running away on the gold roller without any uh, media underneath. The dancer bar here will need to be put in the reset position, which we'll do in a second. We can actually then position any slitter blades and drop those down into the correct position we want. The media is actually attached on here nice and firmly and again here. So. When we're ready to go, we must press the enter button to make sure that we actually display the cut, uh, the, the cut pressure and the velocity. And then we can press the reset button. The reset button will put the machine in the correct condition ready for starting the job. So we press the, the reset button and there we go.